Good afternoon. My name is Bill Schultz, and I'm here to uh, talk a little bit about our Gatling gun. This, this gun that's in front of you is an 1862 Type 1 Gatling gun. It's a replica of the original gun that Gatling designed in 1862. This gun that you see here was uh, first developed in Cincinnati in 1862. Where, uh, Andrew, he was about ready to ship it in December. He made six of these prototype guns. He was about ready to ship them, and the factory mysteriously burned down. Well, in Cincinnati, across the river is Kentucky, so we, uh, I guess we know what happened to the factory. But he, uh, Mr. Gatlin was kind of devastated, but when he got finished with that, he wasn't about to give up. He got up, found other financing, and he found another foundry in Cincinnati. It was called the Cincinnati Type. And what he did is he, uh, he made a Type 2 Gatlin gun. There's a difference between a the Type 1 and the Type 2 Gatling gun was the, the bullet. The original bullet was just a piece of one inch round stock. It took a number 11 percussion gap and 60 grains of black powder and 58 caliber mini ball. The Type 2, what he did is he used that same steel bullet and he put a, a metallic cartridge in it. He found that uh, he was able to make 13 of them. Once he got these made, it was 1864 by the time he got those done, he brought them to Washington, but nobody was really interested in purchasing them. Who did purchase the 13 of them was General Butler. Butler, he, had, he was quite wealthy, he was married to the Ames family, and he bought 10 of them. Uh, it was late in 1864, and at that point in time, uh, there was siege warfare at Petersburg. He took, them to, uh, he took them to Petersburg, but they never saw any major action. Uh, the other three that was left over, Admiral Porter bought three of them and put them on, a, put on boats, but they never saw any major action either. Uh, Gatling went on. Uh, he went to different people and he manufactured them in the next few years, but in 1866 he developed a, a relationship with Colt. And from that point on, uh, the Gatling guns were made in Hartford at the Colt factory. They sold thousands of them throughout the world. During that point in time, uh, they eventually evolved to be a, a 45 70 caliber gun. They had eight barrels, they could fire thousands of rounds. But during the United States military, they saw no real major action until the Spanish-American War. During the Spanish-American War, a battery of Gatling guns came online at San Juan Hill and they helped Teddy Roosevelt get up, get up the hill. They gave enough suppressing fire to get across. By that time, the machine guns became available and these guns fell into retirement until the modern Vulcan guns became available. I'll show you what I can do here in a second. And we'll take a fire a clip right now. How many uh, rounds in the clip? 20. 20. Again, we may have misfires. Uh, again, my father is 95, but rolls them, and when he pushes the caps on, he has a hard time pushing them on. <laughs> if they don't fire the first time, once the firing pin hits them, it sets the caps, and they can pick them up, and we'll fire them the second time. But right now, we'll just demonstrate what it can do. Fire the gun. The magazine's here. We lock it in with this set screw. This other set screw holds the, holds the bullets up. We fall in by gravity, and we'll show you what we can do. We'll take care of this lieutenant in front of us. <laughs> Ready? I thought that'd wake you up, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> 